Greetings YouTube, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. We're going through and showing you the reimagined 2018 Standard Series from Martin. Martin has gone through all of their most popular guitars, guitars that are timeless, guitars that have been workhorses and, and brought the sounds of rock and country and folk music for many, many years. And they are doing two things at the same time. They are taking them and giving them an aesthetic and feel and tone that is very vintage oriented, kind of to the golden era of Martin, if you will, but also giving them playability that is more modern, that is easier, and, and basically what we want on our left hand, so to speak. Unless you're left-handed, then it'd be your right-handed, but you know, you know what I mean. So what I have in my lap is a D35 uh, for 2018. We'll talk about what is happening in the series and what's happening in this particular guitar. So the series are all featuring this toned top. It's an aged toner to give you a vintage look on the top. Um, they are also going back to iconic inlay patterns. Now in some cases those continue to remain a dot uh, inlay on the fingerboard. Others are getting slotted diamonds or whatnot. The headstock is featuring the old script logo, um, and some guitars have open back tuners. The 35s, however, still have the Grover closed gear tuners that are fantastic and nice and smooth. Bracing across the line has changed. So a lot of the bracing is now scalloped where it previously wasn't, or if it's still tapered like on this guitar, it is forward shifted. So the D28 and the, H and the D35 both continue to have tapered bracing, but forward shifted tapered bracing to give you a bit of a more open sound and yet still kind of focused projection. And then the neck is where playability comes in. So the neck now features a bone nut with a measurement of one and three quarter inch. That means it's not too wide and it's not too narrow. It's kind of right there in the middle, a Goldilocks uh, nut width that is comfortable on the hand and good for single run stuff, cording and whatnot. The back of the neck features a modified low oval profile with a high performance taper. So it fits comfortably in the hand and it's faster to play, generally just giving you better feel up and down the neck um, on the select hardwood. Other aspects of the guitar kind of remain staples of the 35. So I mentioned the non scalloped bracing that's been common on the D35. It's quarter inch and it's forward shifted, which means it's moved up closer to the sound hole, allowing the lower bout to resonate and be more free to move. Uh, we talked about that nut width that's here. Um, going up the neck, now also typical of a 35 is this uh, white binding. So all of the reimagined guitars get this antique white binding around the body. 35 series guitars also have that going up the sides of the fingerboard. Um, the, Tone woods haven't changed, so you're going to have under this toner a premium Sitka spruce top with East Indian rosewood back and sides, and on a 35 model, it's this three-piece back uh, that we have been accustomed to uh, being framed again in that uh, antique white. The rosette is a typical 35 rosette, very similar to a D28 style, but a little bit crisper, a little brighter white that's on there. Ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. Bone nut saddle, bone, uh, I'm sorry, bone saddle, bone nut, um, and then rose, uh, rosewood overlay on the headstock. These guitars are available with an amber tone or sunburst finish as well, and with a pickup from either Fishman or LR bags that can be installed in the factory if you choose to order one that way. So really fantastic playability and tone that is more equated with older Martins than newer Martins. So it's, they're, they're really trying to give us what we want plays well, it sounds great, we're going to let you hear it now.
So that is the new for 2018 reimagined Martin D35. Really a great host of features across this entire lineup. Um, this one gives you that great warmth of low end and high articulation with more projection and a bit more balance than maybe you'd find in the HD35. And so which one appeals to you best? That's a good question. We'd like to help you find out. If you want to know more information about this guitar, go to alamomusic.com where you'll find all of the specs and pricing. If you have questions beyond that, feel free to give us a call and we'd love to help you find the guitar that'll fit your needs perfectly. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.